Welcome to the introductory video on PHP. I have had numerous requests to do this, so I'm going to listen to my subscribers. So before we get started, what are the prerequisites for this course? It's a really good idea to have an understanding of HTML and CSS if you are not acquainted with those subjects. And those are available on my main channel page if you want to take those series. What will you need for this series? And we're going to talk about this mainly in the next video. XAMPP, I like to call it ZAMP and Notepad++. But we'll talk about that again in the next video, setting all of that up. What is PHP? PHP is a server-side scripting language designed primarily for web development. Okay, so let's take a look at this diagram and we'll see how PHP at a very basic level works. Now you have a potential user who's on his workstation and he's browsing the web and he comes across your website. A client web browser request is then initiated to the web server where your entire website is located. It will have all of your CSS files, MySQL, everything that you need for your website, including your PHP files. They reside on the web server. So this client web browser request comes in and the server runs the PHP script and generates a new page. A new page file which has an extension of PHP, but it comes back, and this is the important point, it comes back as HTML. Remember, browsers only use HTML. So all PHP script processing is done on the web server, and the final product that comes back is in HTML. So think of it this way, the client web browser request comes in, the PHP script runs and when it's done it finally puts everything back in an html document to ship back whatever it is you want to ship back all of the php code is run on the server and then again it generates html and sends it back to the user so at a basic level that's exactly how php works so what does all this mean well html pages by themselves are very static and boring php will give life to your pages by making them interactive you can do so many things with PHP. You can handle forms. You can fire off emails when someone subscribes to your website. You can make calls to a database. It goes on and on. And we will cover all of those subjects in this series. Okay, in the next video, we are going to set up all of the software that we need. And I will see you guys then.